Academy Award winner Eddie Redmayne thinks the idea of condemning the people designated to Hufflepuff is bad. He further said that whoever does it should feel bad forever doing so. On MTV, Eddie Redmayne lauds the virtues of the House of Hufflepuff. He explained it as a place where loyal friends do the right things for greater good. While loyalty and hard work are major points for Hufflepuffs, those virtues are not exclusive to that house. Harry, Ron and Hermione personify these traits in spades. They had arguments and rifts but in the end they came together to overthrow Voldemort. Eddie Redmayne strengthened his claim by citing renowned Hufflepuffs that he knows, Wayne Johnson and Cedric Diggory. Diggory is truly a Hufflepuff and had some heroic feats with Harry when they battled together to win the True Wizard Tournament. But Wayne The Rock Johnson is no Hufflepuff at all. His muscle technically disqualifies him. Most probably, Eddie Redmayne remembers him because he was named by People as the Sexiest Man for 2016, Cinema Blend reported. At the end of the day, there is still little indication to claim that Hufflepuff is the best house in Harry Potter world. There is a need for a whole lot of data to be included in this equation for that statement about Hufflepuff to work. On Thursday night Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find them premiered. With four more movies coming after the Fantastic Beasts, maybe Newt's commander can prove that Hufflepuff is the best house after all. Yet, Albus Dumbledore will be given importance as the film progresses. Aside from the point of view of Eddie Redmayne, we will not be so sure. As always, it will be Gryfinder who will save the day.